Today, I want to take a look at the EQ on the 833. It has a wonderful, sweepable, parametric EQ, low, mids, highs. Uh, the, the lows and the highs are selectable both shelving and peak. And, and at the same time, you can, you can cut lows with a shelving and you can notch out peaks with the highs. And that's what we really want to talk about right now is the notch, the Q. So Q is the ratio of center frequency to bandwidth. So the A33 gives us a wonderful tool. Uh, we, can, we can adjust the Q by, from 0 0.05 all the way up to a 10. Now, the higher the Q number, the tighter the frequency pattern becomes. So you're really creating a notch filter is, is what you're doing by selecting all the way up to 10. And it can really be a useful tool to, to get rid of uh, uh, some unwanted frequencies. Or inversely, you might want to boost a little bit. You might want to give a little bit of uh, clarity to the upper mids or the, the low highs in your IFB system. You know, you never know what kind of phone you're running into. And sometimes you can just kind of goose that up and dig the IFB out of the mud a little bit more. And that is tremendously helpful. So there is a quick down and dirty version of Q and the notch filter and what the A33 can do. As always, if you, if you, you know your situation, if you have a robust post, then less is more in the field. You really don't want to be doing stuff like this. If you don't have a robust post, it, by all means, you want to deliver the best product you can every day, every time. That's why the phone rings. Have a great day. And as always, if you want to leave comments, I try to get better at, at, at uh, responding to these. And uh, thanks. Cheers.